Hello Leo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, so I hope you're well. Remember this reading won't be for everyone, take what resonates for you as always. So what do we have for Leo? We have fire, well that's nice for you, you're being a fire sign. We have number 10, let go of emotional upheaval and embrace the renewal of the present. Let's pull you an Archangel Michael card and see what we have for you, Leo. Message for Leo for the week, thank you. What do we have for Leo for the week? Thank you, that card flipped over. We have all is in perfect timing, number one. This is it. It is time to take action now. I will be here to help you every step of the way. There's a door opening, I feel, stepping through a door. And we have let go of emotional upheaval and embrace the renewal of the present there. Okay, Leo, let's see what we have with your cards. Message for Leo, please, for the week. Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. Message for Leo for the week. Message for Leo for the week few cards have come out there you are king of wands will be leo in the minor arcana male or female this is you somebody who takes the lead takes action with the six of swords and we have the eight of wands we have the seven of pentacles leo the sun your planet always nice when the sun comes out in a reading we have the world the king of cups we have temperance the lovers And we have the tower. So let's pull an extra card for the tower. What do we have for Leo, please? Message for Leo. message for Leo for the tower what is this tower please thank you so we have the ace of wands and the ten of wands let's do the world as well clarify the world for Leo we have the star and the lovers the four of wands happy home happy family celebration so there's a message here Leo it looks like a, a door is opening for you this kind of like feeling of new beginning and this can be about healing um, could be healing within a relationship itself but it could also be other areas of life where there's recovery it looks like conversations or communications are happening here that bring positive change and forward movement for you so and it's by the action that you have taken that's what I'm getting here quite strongly because this is that feeling here with the tower you might have been in a tower period or moment here where change happened, this can be linked to truth, revelation, an event, even endings. So that could be in career, that could be in other areas of life. But it looks like you have an opportunity to release from something now, that ten of wands, and move in a, move in a new direction. Um, the, the ace of wands can be very good in terms of new jobs, new business opportunities, new career. But it, it can also be about taking action where your heart and soul is leading you. Uh, 
these energies can represent healing in terms of a relationship or a home or family situation here uh, because there's a feeling with the the four of wands and the lovers could be something that's affecting the relationship itself or about the relationship itself or something external that's affecting that but it looks like that's coming to a completion here the world is about something closing out and stepping through to a brand new phase of your life so it feels like this tower has completed because there's a blessing there's new hope coming your way and you can step through a brand new phase of your life this king of cups energy just feels like it feels like an, another energy of, of you i mean again this could be one or two people as well male or female with this with these court cards but um the king of cups can be somebody who is very heart-centered can be caring and compassionate can be somebody who would give you your best advice very parental energy as well but it can be about like i said a love romance relationship or an opportunity to find emotional balance and stability and get that back in your own situation that you've been through so this feels like you might be waiting to see here leo if something that you've persevered on is going to pay off because with the sun it's almost like everything the balance comes back good news celebration joy happiness the light um, all of a sudden stepping into the light everything becomes clear could be in the form of getting clarity on the situation that you've wanted because this is where you've been wanting to to know what's going to happen next you've been persevering on a path but i don't know what's going to happen here am i going to rise above this situation am i going to get balance back in my life it does feel in this energy there's i mean the world card can be a card of successful outcomes completions victory success um so it can be about triumphant energies celebratory energies here but this is where you're being told there's something is going to come to a completion and it's going to, going to come to a completion very successfully for you. There's a feeling of, of you know, uh, union and harmony coming back in the home, the family, the relationship here. It feels like something has affected you. With the Ten of Wands, it can be about letting that burden, that weight go that you've been dealing with. You're just almost like you've been persevering on this path. And you're just like, how much longer have I got to go on this? You know, is that it? Is that it? Am I done? It says all is in perfect timing. You're coming back to your fire self. It looks like some kind of new door is opening for you here, Leo. Now, this can be very good in terms of new projects, new enterprise, new opportunities, very good in terms of business. Um, but these energies can also represent healing in a relationship and letting things go and taking action through a brand new door and embracing healing with somebody as well so that can be the energy here too uh, but this the, the ace of wands i always describe as when you're when you connect to your heart and soul you move in that direction you open doors in that direction of what feel right of what inspires you of what energizes you where you feel your life purpose should be this can be about being inspired to start something, uh, it can be projects, it can be being inspired to move to a place that you feel an affinity with, a soul connection with. All That is all the Ace of Wands, so these energies can mean that too for you. But it looks like uh, a process is completing successfully for you and you can move on from it. Uh, or there's a sense of drawing a line under a situation here, Leo, and moving on and embracing healing this could also be a health issue actually as well if you have been i mean the message remains the same but if you have been wanting to you know feeling like the worst is behind you and you're moving forward to better times it might well be this burden that you've been carrying for a period of time either with you or it could be a family member you're finally releasing from and that tower is over and you're just embracing the new possibilities and there's blessings coming your way and that's the energy here you're feeling very positive about a new door opening for you because you can take action through a new phase of your life now because it might well be some health issue has completed so again whatever the circumstances it does look like you're you have an opportunity to rise above the situation this week pretty powerfully and there's a sense of perfect timing, York. Yeah, 
again, temperance is at the bottom of this deck. Everything is in balance again. But you've needed patience. So I'm going to pull you a power animal oracle card. What do we have for Leo? What do we have for Leo, please? Yeah, we have snake healing. You are a healer. Snake energy can be about shedding an old skin as well. Releasing that which you don't need anymore or releasing from some circumstance, uh, whether it was troubles, whether it was health issue, whether it was money. Um, it looks like you have an opportunity to put down that weight this week or in the near future. I'm going to pull you a message of light. So what do we have for Leo? Message for Leo, thank you. Message for Leo. Yeah, we have number 32, Divine Masculine. <laughs> Interesting. Divine Masculine is all action orientated. It can be empowered and action orientated. So it might well be how you've dealt with this situation or you're understanding how to take control of this situation now, take charge, uh, coming back into your power. But it's through the actions that you've taken. And we have number five, Healing. Again, some kind of recovery area here. So let's see what we have. What do we have as a final message for Leo? Fire energy is quite a masculine energy because it's all about empowerment, uh, potential, uh, action orientated energy, empowered energy. Okay, yeah, we have what defines us is how well we rise after falling. That's your affirmation for the week. And I'm going to pull you a final fairy card. What do we have for Leo, please? Angel Spirits Guides for the week. Message for our lovely Leos, thank you. Good, we've got celebration. Get ready to let your hair down and celebrate. It's time to go out, dance and play. An invitation could be on its way. That's what I have for the week for you, Leo. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I wish you a happy new year and I will see you next time.